Hey guys, this is Mauricio Prinzlau for cloudbackupping.com and today I'll show you how I backup my Macintosh with Time Machine and an external hard drive. Stay tuned for a step-by-step -step guide that'll walk you through all the important steps that you can finally enjoy peace of mind knowing that your data is safe. Okay, so before we're actually going to start backing up our files with Time Machine, we have to make sure that our external hard drive is formatted correctly. So we launch the disk utility um, under Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility, and we have to have a look if our external hard drive is correctly formatted in a format that is called Mac OS Extended Journals. So let's have a look at the Erase tab here and there it is correctly formatted, but I want to rename it and reformat it just to be sure. I uh, obviously uh, saved all the data that I had on that hard drive and now I'm going to reformat it. And so be careful if you have data on that hard drive. If you reformat it, obviously you're going to lose this th those files that are on it. So be sure to have a backup of those files. So after erasing the files um, and renaming the hard drive, we are actually ready to launch Time Machine, or actually it should launch automatically right now. But in case it doesn't, uh, you have to hook it up manually. So we're just going to exit out of that. And we launch the Time Machine app that is in the preference pane. And there you find an icon called Time Machine. And it is already um, visible right here. And the only thing that we got to do right now is select a disk that we want to back up to, obviously. And we want to have the iMac backup uh, external hard drive that we previously formatted. So we want to use this backup disk and we could encrypt our data that I would highly recommend you doing. But for the purposes of this video, we're not going to encrypt our data because it's going to be a little faster. So now Time Machine is programmed and you can see that we have hourly, uh, daily, weekly and monthly backups for our files. And this allows you to go, go back in time and restore files that you deleted accidentally. But before we're actually going to start, we want to exclude some files from our backup selection because the backup selection right now is too large. So we exclude the main operating system I'm working on. I'm now working on a test operating system that I use for reviews and testing software and stuff like that. So I'm just going to exclude Mauricio HD, uh, which are 650 gigabyte. And I'm going to click on save. And now we only have to back up 15 gigabyte that fit perfectly on the 250 gigabyte external hard drive that I have here. So now we would have to wait 100 seconds, but we can right click on the backup icon at the top and say backup now and it will start automatically with the backup. So now we see that our backup is complete. We can see the next backup is today in exactly one hour. And um, now let's see what has actually happened on our external hard drive. So we can see that here, uh, Time Machine has created a folder that is named with the date of the backup. And we can see an exact replication of the file system. So that in case of a hard drive failure, we can just go in and restore the files that are in there. So you could do this manually by entering um, the files, by entering your external hard drives and copying the files that you want, or you launch the actual Time Machine app, which I would recommend you doing. So you go click on the icon um, at, the, at the finder bar and hit Enter Time Machine. So the Time Machine app launches and you have the typical uh, time traveler's interface here and you can go back in time. Now, my last backup is from yesterday, so I only have one backup to go back to, but theoretically you can uh, have all of your backups here in this timeline and go back to the version that you actually need. Remember that your backups are only as good as your restores. The best backup strategy is not worth anything if the restores are not working properly. So here's a file that you might want to be uh, restoring. So you uh, right click on the file and say, hey, restore that file too. And then you can restore the file to your operating system and, uh, and work with it. So uh, I hope I could show you that it is actually pretty easy to set up time machines. So you don't have to worry about fancy backup uh, strategy, strategic uh, thinking here. So you just have to hook up your external hard drive, launch time machine, make sure you have enough space and that it is formatted correctly. 
and then everything should be fine. So I hope you really enjoyed this video, and uh, if you do, please uh, go ahead and share this video and share uh, the article, The Definitive Guide to Backing Up Your Files with your social network or link to it on your website so that more people can find out about it. My name is Mauricio Prinzlau for cloudbackuping.com, signing off.